be sure to look for the answers to the following questions. What are some other uses for a GPS? What star can we use to find north? How did the Vikings navigate without a compass or the stars? When you see this icon, the answer is near. work and keep looking. Hi, I'm glad you're here. We're close to finding our first geocache. You guys are quick. I'm still trying to figure out this whole geocaching thing. It's simple. It's like a scavenger hunt using a global positioning system device, or GPS. You create a cache, which is just a container to hold your treasure. Then you take it to a public park or another public area and you hide it, using your GPS to notice its exact location. Because you have to post the exact coordinates on the internet. Exactly. So other GPS users can find the treasure in your cache. They take your treasure? They have to replace your treasure with the new treasure so others can find it. That makes sense. Miss Rickles told us all about geocaching when she gave us our geography assignment. What I can't figure out is how a GPS works. How does this thing know your exact location? And do I really want anyone to know my exact location? Well, you would if you were lost. That's true. I guess I need to do more research on how a GPS works. I know it uses satellites, but I'm not sure how. While you're up, do you think you could find the coordinates for some chocolate? It was a simple task. All you had to do was put batteries into the GPS. Batteries have nothing to do with the problem. It must be something- If the GPS doesn't work, or if it says we are somewhere we are not, then basically, we're lost. I can't believe it. Our position keeps changing, but we haven't moved. The GPS is giving us a lot of different coordinates. According to my compass, and our last coordinates, let me see, north is over here. I think I'd better get in touch with the other treehouse detectives. Bianca, come here, this is cool. I can't figure it out either. Just stay calm and keep taking good notes. We'll see what we can find out later. Over. That can't be good. No, it isn't. Everything was going fine, and then both teams reported having problems with their GPS. Well, from the sketchy radio communications, it sounds like they're receiving random coordinates. Yes, but they weren't even moving. Hmm. Identifying a location precisely is what geocaching is all about. Sounds like we need to go to the problem board. Good idea. So what do we know? We know that both teams are using GPS devices, and that everything was going fine until just recently. Now they're experiencing some kind of technical problems. Right. Both GPS devices began to give incorrect location coordinates at about the same time. We also know that a GPS uses information from satellites to give precise locations. So what do we need to know? We need to know how GPS, or global positioning systems, work. What goes on under your hard plastic cover? What makes you tick? I don't know where we need to go. But someone needs to go outside and take a break. Did you say something? Yes. Where do we need to go? I'm meeting with Dr. D later this afternoon via the internet to discuss my project on the history of navigation. Maybe he can help. Good. I'm meeting with Mr. Charles Cope to pick up some information about the NASA SHARP program for my brother. Mr. Cope is a pilot for NASA. Pilots use GPS. Maybe he can answer some of our questions about how GPS works. Pilot from NASA? I'm sure he'll be able to help. Don't forget to take a get up and go sheet for some serious note taking. Visit the NASA Sci-Files website to find some cool research tools for your own investigation. Guys, we're making progress. The GPS now says we're in Virginia. Of course it says we're in the middle of the Chesapeake Bay. But we're making progress. Guys, 